Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all. My name is Merck. Welcome back to Narc Alert Reacts. And yes, I have half a coffee, so we're in for it. <laughs> it's early morning, and you know who's here. The emotional support cat is laying in the sun, because it's the morning. And I'm unsure if you can hear it, but we got a lot of construction noise starting outside, and that's just going to be part of our lives for a long time, I would imagine. Life in the city. So, the other person who's in a, in a city... It's, it's the best segue I could come up with. Uh, Amber uploaded yesterday. Amber is in Wisconsin. And she's having uh, the time of her life. She's living her best life. With her girlfriend, Emily. And... Uh, they're doing all kinds of exciting and new things. It's really like a whole new world for Amber over there. Should we jump in and have a look and see what she's up to? Because I'm telling you, it's really exciting. I mean, Amber. All right. What's, what's that? What is this? Doobity doo. <laughs> oh! Getting into a truck is an adventure. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. So we're actually going to go to B. What the hell did you film that for? What did she film that for? Okay, this bitch took the time to set up her camera on the dashboard of that car so we could watch her struggling to get her bulk of her heft of her body up into that truck. Was that necessary? Girl, you're sh you're disgusting. You have no pride. You have no shame. What this also says to me is she actually really thinks she's cute. She thinks she's adorable. Like, people laugh at me getting up in a truck because I'm short and I'm little and ah ha ha. Look at little Merck. She can't get in the truck. <laughs> but it's not the same, Ember. You're 600 pounds. It's not the same as... You know, a normal-sized people laughing at short people getting in a truck. That's not it here. It's not cute watching you do that. It's kind of terrifying. Look who's here. He's left his post. He's come to my side. You're such a good man. You are. Let's watch Amber. Bingo. And Tommy has a legit bingo bag. She said it was a gag gift from someone, but I don't know about that. Today, my earrings. Tommy has her own bingo bag? Do, do you guys have bingo bags? I thought bingo was an older person's thing. Am I... Am I mistaken? I mean, it could be a regional thing, and, you know, here in downtown Toronto, I don't even know if there's a bingo hall. I guess there's places where you can probably go play bingo. Um, not a big thing here, but maybe in small towns it's a big thing, but... I mean, she's in Oklahoma City. I wouldn't really say that's a small... Anyway, the bingo thing baffles me. I can't imagine playing bingo at that age. You know, no shame. It's fun to do, but... It's really the highlight of her social life. Bingo. They say baby girl, one of my favorite pairs. Say hi to the vlog type deal. <laughs> Just a girl happily cleaning her truck. <laughs> I'm not watching bingo content. Let's hope this isn't a lot. Oh, oh wait, no, there's something here we have to... Yes, I'm right here, my darling. Don't look, though, because this is going to be bad. Look away, Rio. 53. Alright, so we left bingo. Are you are you 14, Amber? 
She just needs to constantly show us over and over again that she's loved, she's adored, someone loves her, someone loves her. See? She's right. She's not bad, like all of us say. She's sweet. Look at Somebody loves me. Look at Somebody loves me. She's only... <laughs> and his table is so cute. Oh my god, oh, it's so cute. And now we're at the casino. <laughs> Trying to win her money back. Oh yeah. And we're going to get something to eat, so... Yeah. Noodles. Noodles. Asian noodles. Oh. This whole segment, watch this whole little, this is so ridiculous. Wow, this is so ridiculous. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, what are we doing? Mom, so, I got some pack. So, why did you put that in the vlog? You set up the camera and you said, let's film something for my vlog, baby. But because you have no, you're like you're not a director, you have no, you don't have a fucking pixel of creativity in your head. So you don't know what to do. Because to you, just putting the camera on your glorious quarter ton face is enough, right? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to be funny or intelligent or practice. God forbid you write a script. So you just put the camera on the two of you there. You know, you know do the makeup play with the chops. Daddy, look, my chopsticks are like chopsticks. Ridiculous. So first of all, edit that shit out. Nobody needs to see that. The other thing is, does that not look like two people who are not very comfortable with each other? That looked like the most awkward first date ever. Like, when you're really comfortable with a partner, you can either sit in complete silence comfortably, or you have conversation easily. That was neither. Neither. Bad Thai. We have some, they call it tempura chicken, egg rolls, and pot stickers. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's so good. It's so fake. The way the way she turns her first watch her eyes. They look right to the camera. Right to the fucking camera to make sure that she looks good. She's like this. And then she thinks in her head, this is what a normal person would do. Oh yes. Oh yes, that's good. The head shake is so fucking phony. Oh yes. Yes, that's good. And then her eyes immediately go right back to the camera to see how cute she looks. Okay, that's good. I pulled off normal person. I did normal person really well there. Look at this. Pretending to be like what she what she what she perceives normal people to do at a lunch. That's what I feel Hot like. That is. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's so good. Right back to the camera. Look again. That's so good. Check on me. Check on me. Okay, so you guys asked what drink Tommy likes. It's a long Nobody asked. You told us it was a Long Island iced tea a long time ago. Oh, so now Amber's drinking them too. That's a lot of calories and a lot of alcohol. When I was in high school, the only time anybody ever drank a Long Island iced tea was to get properly hammered. Because I think it's like three or four kinds of alcohol in a Long Island. Island. All right, baby. Cheers. <laughs> so full in a oh, wait, I have to sit mine down. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, extra cherries. <laughs> of course. I just won the jackpot. <laughs> that one's being posted for a shoe. I'm a singer. Eat the dog. Eat eat the dog. <laughs> eat the cat. Eat eat the dog. Eating the cats. <laughs> They're eating the dogs. <laughs> In Springfield. What's happening in Springfield? That everything turned out for No, you said everything turned out for But on the way home, you must stop. This is... What are the fuck are we watching? This is ridiculous. This is like two 14-year-old lesbians who have just decided to be public with being beans. And they're going to show everybody their love. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay, we'll power through, but I'm putting it on two times speed because it's just a lot of... I can't. There's no words for this. It's infuriating. 
You know what else pisses me off? Every time she hits upload, she's laughing her ass off at us. She's going, look, I can just upload a fucking stupid clip of us using fa of Instagram filters, and I'm going to make bank on that. God, that's annoying. This is two times speed, okay? Yeah, you're recording? Yes. Oh, fuck. She's going. <laughs> I need a sec on the beach. Yeah, you do. Just don't get sand in your coach. Watermelon sugar. Uh, well, okay. Dream guest on my podcast. Probably one of my exes. My exes! Mm -hmm. Which one should we invite you? One of your exes? Ooh. Really? Ooh. Dream guest on the podcast, one of your exes? Emily, your ex is dead. Do you think it's a good, within good taste to be making jokes? I know you're referring to Amber saying that, but do you really think this is within the bounds of good taste at all? Your ex just passed away, and quite frankly, you bitch, you haven't even mourned her yet. And you're over here shoving it into Amber. You're disgusting. You're as, you know, it's when I watch these, I see Emily is a baby clone of Amber. Emily seems to be just the exact same personality type as Amber. Let's watch Emily a little longer and see if she's also a stinking narc. Because signs are starting to point that way, aren't they? Which one would you want to know more from? If it was all the tea. <laughs> as much as I don't want to meet her, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the Wendy's girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Peter and Braids. Oh, see, I she can... hated that. Amber thought she... She looked... She, Amber's thinking... Jessica Rabbit, when she's looking at herself. And Tommy said, you look like the Wendy's girl. Amber did not like that. That was funny. Look at her face. She's like, okay, okay, well. She was pissed off. I'll slow this part down. This is funny. You look like the Wendy's girl. You know Amber's back there doing this. She thinks she's Jessica Rabbit. The Wendy's girl. Watch. From, if it was all the tea... Okay. As much as I don't want to meet her, though. <laughs> you look like the Wendy's girl. <laughs> oh, pissed okay. off. Well, you had your hair in braids. Well, okay. I can fuck with Wendy's. Came in with a dollar and I'm walking out with two. <laughs> okay, this is idiots. <laughs> That's about playing with. with Instagram what? filters. Cinnamon and man. Making a hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, however many right dollars. Here. Oh my god, I'm just like the success. She's, She's filming them with like Instagram. Hello, hello, okay. So I'm just <laughs> mid makeup, you guys, I'm just out. Okay, I'm literally just mid makeup right now. And Tommy's in the shower, we're just getting ready. And I just wanted to say, like, hi. Today actually marks a week that I've been here. I've been here for a full freaking week, and I've just had such a lovely time. I've had some of you be like, why are you packing so many things for only a five day trip? came from but no 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 i just felt like for the longest time i've always said that like i have never been able to like live somewhere and feel like that's my home like nothing. this is how a game of telephone works you know when somebody says something and the information gets scrambled down the line the five days came from a long time ago when amber said that emily was visiting her and it was going to be for five days that's the only time five days was ever mentioned so i think that's must be where it came from it had nothing to do with this visit. I never knew how long she was staying. She's been there a week. She's clearly feeling really comfortable here. She's gonna tell us how it's home. Nothing has ever felt like home to me. And I think I've realized that like, home isn't a building. It's not a place with walls. It's like a person. Like Tommy makes me feel like I have finally found home. Like no matter if she's visiting me in Oklahoma or I'm here in Wisconsin, it's just like- I'm pretty sure she's said that before. I'm pretty sure she, I'll do some research, but I think she's said that before. It's it's weird to say, I mean, home is where the heart is and my heart is with Crystal. So wherever she's at, you know, it's my home. To me, home is very where the heart is and my heart really isn't like in Kentucky per se. I don't know where my heart is. It's like floating around, I don't know. Maybe my heart's inside of Twinkie. So wherever Twinkie is, wherever Becky is, wherever. So I guess maybe it is Kentucky. I don't know. That I feel like I'm home whenever I'm around her. I know that's like super freaking cheesy, but it's the truth. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why am I laughing? 
Mm. More I'm pointless. High school. Pointless. Cool. <laughs> it's just like mirror after mirror after mirror after mirror. <laughs> Love it. This is the Tommy cam. The Tommy cam. That's cute. We should start doing that. It's my POV. Yeah, this is her POV, folks. Which is frightening. The POV is frightening. Look at her now. She's posing. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is Andy. Oh, it's the Tommy cam. Oh my god, you're not filming me, are you? No, no, don't, don't. Oh, stupid. And this is the POV? This is what Emily did. She went down to the bottom of the escalator, because we all know the most flattering angle, if you're, if you're heavy at all, is to shoot from down below. Is Tommy a professional cameraman for 600 pound life? Because that's how they shoot shit. Nothing makes you look worse, and that's what she's doing to her dainty girl. And Amber's loving it up. A lot of full body shots coming in hard and fast. Gross. Oh god, did I just fall? <laughs> yes. It's an L escalator moment. <laughs> oh my god, did I just fall? Oh my god, did I just fall? Okay. What an idiot. She's a fucking idiot. Look at, look at this hole. This is, what, did I just fall? Do you not know? Girl, the whole city would know if you fell because the fucking ground would be shaking. Did I just fall? Oh god, did I just fall? <laughs> yes. And then she gets right back into position. Look at this light. God, I hate her today. <laughs> it's so pretty to have him. <laughs> songs that will get you copy claimed so we will not play them now <laughs> I do enjoy a nice Nirvana cover but we'll just speed it up I think that should help I think that should get us through <laughs> but look at Amber just like a little like a little fly on the wall right she's not up there in the front row bopping her head, dancing, going, no, it's like, oh my god, I love this song, let's go listen to the song. She's like hiding in the back. Look at, this is what, look at, I'm out looking at a band. No, you're not. You walked by and there was a band. You weren't listening to the band. Becky would have liked that band. That's not your music. I don't know why you included it. Come on, YouTube. You are so cute with your tippy tapping today. You know, everybody's just watching you. He's not spoiled. Which is fine, because this is stupid. I, you know... How this, how this is content is completely beyond me. <laughs> it's relentless to me. Okay, guys, so I'm looking a little... <laughs> like I need to go to sleep, even though I did. And I just woke up, and it's really early. I slept in my clothes, I slept in my makeup. I just didn't care. I'm sorry, even, like, my camera keeps such dropping an amazing out. Time I, don't know. I mean, I've had an amazing time since I've been here. Like, are you joking me? But Alexis and I did meet last night, and it went really well. I know a lot of people are gonna have their opinions, but like, opinions are just opinions. They're not facts. And if anything, it is shocking that like I met her after everything that happened. But she apologized, and Alexis and I were best friends for a year. And the way she said that people are gonna have their opinions and opinions are not facts. She's reciting Kar Karina Kaboom's intro. So she she may not be doing it on purpose, but that says to me she watches so much Karina Kaboom that when she says opinions are not facts, then it just comes out like her intro. We all do that. We all know each other's intros, right? Um, like if someone said to you, that's messy fun, and you'd probably think, and not a diagnosis. Like we all do that. Um, so that's interesting. She watches a lot, watches herself a lot of Karina Kaboom. Um, the other thing I wanted to say about this is, uh, Amber, this doesn't surprise me given that Amber has no personality. She has, uh, 
she has no integrity really as a human being um, I'll tell you something and if you're my friend we make mistakes friends fuck up all the time because we're human beings and we're perfectly imperfect um, it's real easy to forgive friends mistakes uh, when they're mistakes when they're missteps um, if somebody's having their own struggles and they don't react properly that's fine we, we can see past that we're friends right one thing you don't see past is when someone goes out of their way to maliciously try and hurt you okay uh, Alexis went out of her way I know it's noisy out there out of her way and made videos revealing intimate conversations that they shared together now quite frankly if I was Amberlynn Alexis would no longer exist in my world because if, if if you come at me with malice then all I can do is make you disappear and it uh, doesn't mean kill you but I mean I erase every trace of you in my life and you do not exist anymore but not Amber Amber needs every single friend she can manage to get her hooks into so this bitch can go make videos and say whatever she's like I don't know if you guys remember some of the things she said she said the FBI Frank thing was a lie oh no that was destiny she said um, she said she didn't get the surgery because of the binging she, Alexis said a lot of stuff you can refer back I believe she's deleted all her videos but there's plenty of people out there who covered it so it's out there but Amber you're pathetic you shouldn't bother this person is a fucking snake do you think that she's not gonna do this to you again down the road you're a loser and after the betrayal and what she did she apologized and I'm able to Means empathize nothing. with mental illness and I'm able to empathize with like people make bad decisions here's another thing I'm sick of your mental illness doesn't excuse your behavior your mental illness might cause you to make mistakes and then you clean up your mess and you apologize and everything's fine and that's okay but that's not an excuse for bad behavior you don't get to treat a friend like a piece of human garbage and then say oh I'm sorry my menti bees were down that day that doesn't that's not right I I have lots of friends I know people in our discord and they struggle with a shit ton of things and do they use it as an excuse for their behaviors absolutely not they function relatively well in society I'm not saying it's easy for them because they deal with stuff that the rest of us might not even see but it, it's this is bullshit when they're hurt or when they're going through like mental health stuff hi baby girl hi sweets not only did she apologize to me and acknowledge what she did to me was wrong but she also did that for Tommy as well to have ill feelings and bitterness and just like bad vibes it's there's no reason for it when she said Tommy was a feeder she said uh, what else did she said terrible things but she said oh she said Tommy was physically rough with you she said it was the worst thing that could happen to you she was no longer gonna be your friend if you remained dating Emily she said a lot of shitty things Amber never mind she made videos re revealing intimate information I mean if you want to trust this person because they said I'm sorry my, my mental health was bad no mental health being bad makes you a uh, ghost somebody or you know snap at them or be in a pissy mood it doesn't make you make a whole video edit it down upload it do q and a's I mean that's a different story that was malice Amber we can literally just move on so meeting her was literally everything okay, cause and I'm probably gonna see her again and hang out with her again because in the last year like I have grown to like deeply care about Alexa and also she has to because she's gonna move to Wisconsin and she only knows Emily so when things go wrong with Emily she needs to have a backup plan and she needs one close she can't count on her mom because apparently her mom is now uh, just a ghost relic of the past she doesn't need her anymore she's done with her she found something better than a mom she's getting rid of her like she is someone that I care about and I kind of just want to like move on past all of the drama because it's not it's literally not worth it and you I'm know what like else I'm gonna say this is her choice if she chooses to do that that's perfectly fine I think it's stupid but you know power to you too happy to like sulk 
in that drama. People make mistakes, people learn from them, and people move on. And that's what we're doing. See, and... I think this is the right attitude for some a friend who's made a mistake. But Alexis didn't make a mistake. Alexis didn't let her insecurities take her away and do wrong things. Alexis maliciously tried to fuck you up. That's a different story. I'm happy with that choice. And now it's like if people treat Alexis bad, it just goes to show that like people only treat her based on how she treats me, which is how it's been with No, her. what she's shown is that she's a snake, that she's <coughs> not trustworthy. And that's what people react to. It doesn't really have a lot to do with you other than the fact that you were the subject matter. But again, here, just like how we don't judge you on your weight, we're judging Alexis on the content of her character and what she did. Like majority of the people in my life, which is really sad, to be honest. But yeah, we're just going to keep up the positive vibes. I just want to move on. I just want to move on. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Here's a little rare rarity for you guys. Rarity and Wasabi was just cuddling and it was like the cutest thing in the world. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, it looks like we have a new genre of TikTok drama to talk Where's Twinkie? She's shown us quite a few clips from the house in Wisconsin now, and we haven't seen any Twinkie. Now, we've seen the cats, and I'm very happy the cats seem fine. So all of our huffing and puffing about that was for naught, because the cats seem perfectly fine, and that's all that we care about. Um, but cats tend to not, tend to be a little more elusive. Not this one. In general, cats tend to be a little more elusive, and dogs tend to be around you all the time. I don't know where Twinkie is. I mean, I'm sure she's fine. I hope she's fine. Can you leave me alone so I can say goodbye? Your face is a mess. You got stuff all over your face here. There. Now you're beautiful again. All right, I don't know what to tell you. That was a load of garbage. It was like watching a 10-year-old girl doing on Insta. Like, all it was was, uh, you saw it. You were there. Why did we... Oh, my God. I will say the one thing I find interesting is that Tommy seems to... Emily seems to have the exact same personality that Amber does. Amber went all the way to Wisconsin, and they're playing bingo, and they're going to the casino. It's exactly the same thing she does in Oklahoma City. Is that... You guys... I know you guys. There's better and cooler and more fun things to do in these cities than bingo. These are young women. And they go to a... She says they go to a gay bar, but it's not, doesn't seem like a, a fun dance club or something. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think Amber's life is, uh, are we in the last stages of Amber's life here? Girl looking huge. Girl drinking every night with her girlfriend. And she's going to say, it's because I'm there for a visit, but we're pretty sure you're moving in. So there's that. What about her mom? Like, she doesn't even mention, like, given how close you two were, shouldn't you maybe call, like, be calling her or something? I don't know. It's just all very weird and very selfish and very narcissistic. And it seems terribly unhealthy. All they do is eat and drink. Eat and drink. And we don't need to see the public displays of affection. You know, most people, most people aren't big on PDA. Uh, young people, can you not eat my headphones? You know, young people generally are, you know, big on the, on the PDA, and that's fine. You know, maybe I'm a prude. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of watching it. And I'll be honest with you, call me fat phobic, but if I saw that going down with a 600-pound girl like that, I'd be looking. Wow, they're doing that in public? It's a little, it's a little much. Blah. Anyway, I got to go finish my coffee because it's just sitting here getting cold and I really need it. Let's hope Amber does something a little more interesting than bingo and banging on a casino and Ben and Jerry, what's that? Not Ben and Jerry's, what's it called? Doug and Buster's or whatever, where the one where she goes plays the, <laughs> I can't. God, we need her to do something as usual. Anyway. We had Rio here, and that's really what's more important, isn't it? I want to thank you for joining me on this Monday morning, crazy, stupid, boring Amberlynn reaction. Rio would also like to thank you. Uh, 
Probably no video tomorrow, but definitely live stream on Wednesday, and we can't wait to see you then. We'll do something fun and silly, maybe catch up with some Amber, chat, and uh, the like. Listen, get into Roblox, and start playing Dress to Impress with us. Grab a channel membership and get in the Discord, or subscribe, or at the least, just click like, or even click dislike. They're really the same thing to YouTube, it doesn't make any difference. I want to thank you all for joining me. Until we meet again on Wednesday, you know the routine. Just be kind. And hasta luego.